when I tried to go inside, the police stopped me. I said, look, I'm his son. And I went to the house in the garage. There was a tarp over the car, or some part of it, a blanket. And then also where my dad's wheelchair was because he was trying to transfer from the car to wheelchair uh, when he was killed. We ended up being allowed back into the house and I had to go to the garage and clean up this massive pool of blood that was left on the floor from where dad was shot. And it was um, <clears throat> a tremendously difficult thing to do, difficult thing to explain to the children that there are people on this earth from potentially the same community that have such a vile contempt for someone else. You still see the pool of blood. You still, even afterward, you, that image of the blood, where the blood was, you still see that, you know? And when you look at my dad, he used to say, if somebody wants to kill me, I cannot stand, I cannot run. If they're gonna kill me, they're gonna kill me. And this man, old man, he's on a wheelchair, how low can you get these people that planned it? They, they, they kill a person that's on a wheelchair, that can't walk, that can't run, that can't fight. Where's the justification? <laughs>